Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how to add conditional questions in Google Forms. With Google Forms, you can create conditional questions, also known as branching questions. These branching questions take respondents to specific follow-up questions based on their previous responses. Here we'll create a work request form using Google Forms. Then I'll show how to build the same form easily with Sheet Go Forms. So let's get started. Respondents will choose an assignee, a platform and the type of task. First, I'll choose one of these three assignees, a designer, a film editor, and a content writer. If I select designer and click next, there will be these two options available. Let's go back and see what happens when I select another option. When I choose film editor, these options will be different. And this is another branching question. Depending on which option you select, the next options will change. Now let's see how we can build this form. First, I'll create a drop-down menu with the three assignees, designer, film editor, and content writer. Choose drop-down and type in the three options. Now we need to add three new sections to create the branching questions. In the next section, I'll create another drop-down menu for the designer. And I'll type in the options. Then I'll move on to the next section and create a drop-down menu for the film editor. Now I'll go to the last section and create a drop-down list for the content writer. Okay, now I have to go back to the first section. Click the three dots and select go to section based on answer for each option. I'll choose the corresponding section. After choosing the platform respondents, also have to select the type of task. So I have to repeat the process and add new sections for each of the previous options. I need to create new sections and add all the options manually. Then I have to go to the previous questions, select go to section based on answer and choose the corresponding question. Let me show you what it would look like after adding all the sections. As you can see, I have created nine sections for the conditional questions with all the different combinations I need. This might be time consuming depending on how many questions and options you have. So there has to be another way, right? Don't worry. If you need to add multiple branching questions, SheetGo forms might come in handy. I'll show you how you can add conditional questions, applying multiple data validation in SheetGo forms. With SheetGo forms, you'll always start from this spreadsheet. So I'll open a spreadsheet and create a tab with all the possible combinations. I'll create three columns, assignee, platform, and type, the first column has the three assigns, designer, film editor, and content writer. I've added all the platforms for each assignee and all the possible types of tasks. Now I'll create another tab and the formula to add the conditional questions. The first column will have a drop-down menu with the three main options. I'll add the header first assignee. I'll also add an asterisk to make the field required. Now all you have to do is create a drop-down list in your spreadsheet. Click data. Then select data validation. First, select the range where you want to apply it. You can add all the options here, but I'll select drop down from a range instead because I have already added a list of assignees to a range of cells. When I select this range, Google Sheets will add all the options to my list automatically. In order to create the conditional questions, I'll add a simple formula. First, I'll add the header and an asterisk to make the field required. Then I'll add the formula in brackets. This formula has two parts. The first is the conditional, which refers to the previous question. In this example, it is the column I called assignee. The second part is the range. Here I'll add the range of cells that contains all the possible combinations in the second tab. Now I'll repeat the process to create the next branching question. I'll add the header and the formula here in the third column. Now I can create a sheet go form. I'll create a new workflow and click create form. I'll select a source file and the tab here I can preview the form. You can also choose where you want to send all the information whenever someone fills out the form. The default option is to send the data to the same spreadsheet. Click Finish and Save to create the form. Sheet Go has created a form automatically from the spreadsheet. If I select Designer, the drop-down menu will list all the platforms available for the designer. Let's say I want to choose Instagram. Now I can choose the type of task, feed, stories, or carousel. That's how you add conditional questions in Sheet Go forms. You can create multiple conditional questions easily and effortlessly by adding more columns and updating the list of options. Whenever you update the spreadsheet, go to your form and click Sync Form. If you want to learn more about SheetGo, check out our other videos, subscribe to our channel, or visit SheetGo.com for more spreadsheet-based automation ideas. 
Thanks for watching and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video.